Good morning. It's been a long time since we've done a walk and talk with Maddie. Like years. <laughs> time. Such a trip. Um, three different times in the last few days, the story of the blind men and the elephant has come into my consciousness my awareness. If you're not familiar with the story, basic, the basic idea is five blind men or monks or pilgrims, different told different ways, uh, all go into a dark room and there's an elephant there and none of them can see it obviously because they're blind and it's dark, depending on which version of the story. And um, they each touch the elephant in a different place and they interpret what the elephant is by what they feel. So the one who feels the trunk says, oh, an elephant is like a snake. It's like a hose thing. And the one who touches the ear says, oh, the elephant is like a big fan. And the one who touches his side says, oh, the elephant is like a big mountain. And uh, the one who touches the tail says, oh, the elephant is like a paintbrush. And, um, oh, well, would you look at this, Maddie? This is someone's front yard. Look at this. How beautiful. It's just beautiful. A lovely, lovely place to live. Want some water? Um, so this idea of the elephant story is that, you know, we all see or perceive. Oh, you can't move that rock, but we all see or perceive things from where we are. This is Maddie organizing water molecules. There she goes. Okay, Matt, you can't organize their water. Good girl. Um, that's a long story. She likes to organize water molecules. Anyway, it's this idea that we can all come at a, the same situation with our own perceptions. And it can lead us into places of deep disagreement if we let it you know we can fight over whether the elephant is a hose or a fe or a feather or we can um, just agree that we perceive it differently and uh, this is not a political message for me this morning this is just a human message it's just a human message you know, at, at 8.26 this morning, my neighbor behind me decided to start using power tools. And I thought, well, I could get really angry and I could go out there and I could yell <laughs> and say, what are you doing? It's Sunday. Or I could recognize the fact that it's going to be beastly hot in a little while and he's probably trying to get some work done before it gets that way. Here's the thing, we're all living our lives. We're all doing the best that we can with what we've got. With our tools, with our minds, with our hearts, with our beliefs, with our oh, baggage and histories, with our demons and with our angels. And so if somebody's gonna tell me that the elephant is a hose, then you know what? I'm just gonna go, okay. If that, if that works for you. Because it doesn't hurt me for them to believe that the elephant is a hose. The tricky part is when beliefs start to harm one another. And that's a whole other talk, which I'm not, uh, which I'm not up for this morning. <laughs> I don't wanna go there this morning. I just wanna say, you know, I was inspired, My a friend of mine just did a podcast about nice versus kind and um, the concept of what nice means versus kind. And what I can say to you is um, I will always choose to be kind. It may not be nice. It may not seem nice. It may not come across nice. It might not be perceived as nice. However, my motivation will always be kind, kindness. So there you go. For me, the elephant will always be a mountain. 
I hope wherever you are, you're not as hot as we are here in Northeast Ohio. And uh, Maddie and I are sending you lots of love. Maddie, you wanna show them your face? Little side, little side view of my old lady. Um, yeah, have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for, uh, for visiting us again. Hopefully we'll be back on this. All right, take care. Bye.